Hi, welcome to my channel. In yesterday's session, we are seeing how to create alter and drop a database. In today's session, we will discuss how to create alter and drop a table. This create table. So it it will be used to create a new table in a database. This is the syntax to create a table. Create table, table name and you have to provide the column name of each column and what is the data type of that column so like this we have to create and this will be the example create table employee master and i am creating one employee master with the columns of employee id and employee name so we will see how to create a table in sql server this is my sql server management studio so i have a lot of databases inside this so I am using one database called demo. Expand this one. And as we discussed yesterday's session, while creating database, we can create through graphical and through query. So likewise, while creating table also, we can create table graphically and second one through query. First we'll see how to create a table graphically. Right click on tables, click on new table. column name I want employee ID always employee ID will be in t-shirt and I don't want to allow nulls suppose if you click on allow nulls so even if you are not entering any data in the employee ID so it will accept I don't want to allow nulls because employee ID is mandatory then second one is I'm creating column name as employee name. I want backer. So I want length. What is the length of this column? So it will accept maximum of whatever you are giving the value here. I want to accept up to 150 characters. Allow nulls. Whether you want to allow nulls or not. So I don't want to allow any null values here. Then designation so this is also I am creating as so. so I am creating designation with the 50 characters so in this column I am allowing nulls also so then I want email so this is also vacca 50 characters I'm accepting this is also null. So then right click here save table one. So it will ask to enter a name for the table. So you have to provide name here, whatever the name you want. So I am posing as name table name as employee master this will set to your table name to identify the table this is the name for your table so i am saving as employee master for this table now you click expand the tables see employee master has been created likewise i want to create one more table now we will see how to create a table through query click on tables you can click on db itself that's enough and click on new query then we will create a table suppose I am creating one table like to create a table create table you have to pass the table name I want the table called salary master I'm creating salary master So I am creating as column and as id, it is integer, then whether you want to allow nulls or not, so I don't want to allow nulls, not none, then, then I am pausing as employee id, integer, not none, then 
I am adding as salary integer and I am allowing nulls. So this is my table. So create is a keyword and table also system defined keyword. This is your table name. Our table name is salary master and this is the column name id i am giving as integer data type is integer and i don't want to allow any nulls id is mandatory then second column we are creating as employee id this is also integer i'm not going to allow any null values then salary salary always it will be integer i am allowing nulls so suppose if i don't know the salary how much is getting that time i can skip this column so that's why i'm passing as null so whenever you are opening this one you have to close here so this is opening this is and closing here so now click on execute so your table has been created to see the table what we have to do is click on tables right click refresh salary master table has been created if you see the structure of this one it will be similar like how we created graphically id it's not allowing us see this not allowing us then employee id i'm not allowing us not done salary if you click here yes i'm not allowing sorry salary port i'm allowing null values so this is the way of creating table through query so now we had seen discuss about how to create a table now we had seen how to create a table through graphical and query now we will see how to alter a table through graphical and query so alter table is it is used to add modify or delete columns in existing table so suppose i created one table i want to rename it like i want to modify the table name so what how we will do is we'll see the syntax this is the stored procedure in later sessions we will discuss about the stored procedure so for now so just you think that this is the stored procedure to rename a table so sp rename is system defined stored procedure there is a two types of stored procedures available in sql server one is system defined and one more, second one is user defined two types of stored procedures available so to rename a table this is the stored procedure stored procedure name sp underscore rename then you have to pass the table name then second one is you have to pass the new name so this is the example so if you want to rename means sp underscore rename existing table name and you have to pass the new table name we'll see in sql server how to alter a table now we will see how to rename the table so expand the tables here also we have two ways to rename a table that means alter a table first we will see graphically how to alter a table then we will discuss how to alter a table through query suppose i have one master salary master is here i want to rename this table just i click on this table click on rename then you enter the new name suppose i am changing as instead of salary most and change as salary then enter so now it has been set to salary so we will see how to alter a table through query table sp underscore rename this is the system defined store procedure then you have to pass the existing table name salary is my existing table name then i want to rename it as salary master so this is the system defined store procedure this is my existing table name this is the existing table so i am passing the existing table name i want to rename it as salary master this is the new table name now click on execute so it already changed why it is giving caution is changing any part of an object name could break scripts and store procedure suppose this table name you have been already used in your stored procedures or somewhere else in your script 
so what it is saying is if you are changing system table name here means then it will create a error in the stored procedures and your scripts it will break scripts and stored procedures that's what they are telling just now whether it's changed or not right click on the tables refresh see this has been set so now we have seen how to rename or alter a table with the design mode as well as through query so now we will discuss how to drop a table how to drop a table through design mode as well as through query drop is used to drop any existing table in a database this drop keyword is used to delete that means drop is equivalent to delete so we'll see the syntax how to drop a table drop table drop is a keyword and table also keyword whenever you are dropping table you have to pass the table keyword if you want to drop a database you will pass database here and you have to pass which date table you want to drop so this is the example i want to drop table that whatever the table name so you have to pass the table name here drop table table name. you'll see in example in sql now we will discuss how to drop a table in sql server so here also we have two ways already you aware of that one so initially we will drop a table in design mode then we'll see in query so expand the tables so i have two types of tables here suppose i want to drop employee master so right click on the table click on delete click on ok see table has been deleted so same thing we will see in query mode how to delete a table through query so drop is the keyword what do you want to drop whether it's database or table i want to drop a table so i want to pause the table name drop is the keyword and table is the keyword and salary master salary master is this is this my salary master table i want to drop this one so you can copy paste this one also so this is my query click on execute command completed successfully now you right click on tables click on refresh so your table has been dropped that means deleted That's it for today. Thank you.